It's the start of a new month, which is always a good excuse to check on what other creators have been cooking across the Blender community. So today we're diving into some of the coolest Geometry Nodes projects artists have shared this week. We're talking generators, simulations, experiments, and setups that really show how far this system has evolved. So let's get into it and take a look at what everyone has been up to. We begin with a rock generator by Michael, and this one goes incredibly hard. He built a fully procedural stone wall system that can switch between natural chaotic rocks and clean brick-like formations with just a few slider tweaks. The shapes, the UVs, the materials, and the textures are all generated automatically in one pass, meaning you get incredibly detailed geometry that no PBR texture set could ever compete with. It's a beautiful example of how Geometry Nodes lets you build assets that stay flexible, look realistic, and scale with any scene you throw at them. Next, we have a cloud generation system powered entirely by Geometry Nodes. At this point, nearly half of all Blender add-ons take advantage of Geo Nodes for flexibility and customization. And this one by 3D Vision fits perfectly into that trend. He's building an add-on that sets up your entire world. Atmosphere, lighting, clouds, environment depth, everything you need for instant sky creation. Without geometry nodes, building something like this would require tons of shader tricks, particle hacks, and a lot more effort. His procedural clouds can also be animated for time lapses and dynamic skies, making them incredibly useful for both still renders and animation work. If you're a heavy geometry nodes user, then you should absolutely take a look at the free node pack from Cartesian Caramel. This collection includes circular array, normal displace, solid extrude, carved mesh, SDF mesh, SDF collision, velocity step, point grid, and much more. Basically a folder full of reusable building blocks for your own node trees. And don't forget, Cartesian Caramel isn't just a random creator, he's one of the actual contributors to geometry nodes. In Blender 5.0, he even added the attribute node, which lets geo nodes talk directly to the object world, enabling control over things like armatures. So having tools built by someone who helps design the system itself makes this pack extremely valuable. Take a look at this demo by Matinian, where he creatively combines the cloth modifier with geometry nodes to simulate rope. Instead of relying purely on the cloth system or trying to hack something with curves, he blends simulation and procedural modeling in a way that gives you far more control. He even built a custom node setup that you can manipulate directly inside GeoNodes, opening the door for easy adjustments without re-simulating everything. Next up is CG Matter, who might be the most consistent participant in the entire November challenge this year. He created a brand new geometry node setup every single day throughout November, and his final demo is essentially a huge compilation of all of them. It includes everything from pumpkins, fire, and ice, to abacus patterns, feathers, abstract forms, and dozens more experimental effects. Seeing all of his daily creations stitched into one video, gives you a great overview of how many different problems GeoNodes can solve. If you want to watch the full collection, the link is in the description. It's definitely worth checking out. Why use expensive tools like SpeedTree when Blender can generate procedural trees natively? Michael proves this again with his palm tree generator built entirely in geometry nodes. You can adjust things like the number of leaves, how gravity affects them, the trunk length, the overall shape, and other parameters that make your tree unique. And the best part is that everything, the geometry, the materials, the textures, is fully procedural and updates automatically as you change the settings. Um, it's another strong example of how Blender can replace external tools if you know how to harness GeoNodes properly. Anyone who uses Booleans in Blender knows the pain of bad shading. Smooth meshes combined with hard Boolean cuts often create nasty artifacts, ripples, weird dark areas. Spyjet Me Node came up with a brilliant solution a geometry nodes-based modifier that fixes all those shading issues by automatically correcting the normals and smoothing transitions across the mesh. The result is perfectly clean shading with none of the problems Booleans usually introduce. For anyone who relies heavily on hard surface modeling or mechanical design, this tool is going to be a lifesaver. As geometry nodes continues to evolve, we're starting to see more experimental techniques, including things like procedural IK rigs built directly in GeoNodes. In this example, you can clearly see a tentacle or leg rigged with inverse kinematics entirely inside a node tree, following deformation controls just like a traditional rig. The setup is still a little complex at the moment, but the idea is incredibly exciting. 
you can easily imagine a future where Blender includes dedicated IK nodes or rigging systems powered entirely by geometry nodes. At the pace things are moving, that future feels closer than you might think. If you love geometry nodes, you should definitely be following Falskeen on Twitter slash X because his work is consistently mind-blowing. One of his latest demos is a full cloth knitting animation done entirely in geo nodes. You can see every individual thread weaving into a garment with full control over thread count, spacing, direction, and pattern behavior. In some areas, he even incorporates simulation-like behavior to make the motion feel more natural. And when you combine this setup with a real cloth sim, the results get even more impressive. Links are in the description if you want to see how the whole thing works. With enough creativity, geometry nodes can feel almost limitless. Michael shows this again with a procedural eyebrow system built directly in geo nodes. These eyebrows aren't static shapes. They follow deformation from shape keys, respond to facial animation, and adjust dynamically to whatever expression the character makes. It's a perfect example of how GeoNodes is starting to blend into character workflows, offering new levels of control that were previously hard to achieve without custom rigs or scripts. You can already create ripple simulations using Blender's dynamic paint system, yeah, but there's always room to push effects further. Hages demonstrates this perfectly with his new ripple solver built entirely in geometry nodes. You can customize the strength, time steps, damping, and spring behavior, and the waves can travel across any type of mesh, not just flat planes. Text is a massive part of motion graphics work, but Blender's built-in text system hasn't improved in ages. Thankfully, Geometry Nodes lets you create your own improvements on top of the default text object. Errol Bakery shows a great example of this with his procedural text animation setup built directly in GeoNodes. You get more control, cleaner animation logic, and totally customizable behavior without needing an add-on. It's a great reminder that even if native Blender features slow down, GeoNodes keeps pushing forward and filling the gaps. Blender's rigid body body system hasn't received major updates in a long time, so seeing the potential of fully custom physics solvers inside geometry nodes is incredibly promising. With the direction Blender is heading, we might one day be able to replace or enhance rigid bodies entirely using procedural systems. Because Blender has the smallest development budget among major 3D software, we can't realistically expect every feature we want to be built into the program. Sometimes we have to create our own tools, to, and that's exactly what Michael does with his lightweight extrude solidify modifier made in geometry nodes. It even adds realistic stitching to any cloth mesh you apply it to, making it a super practical tool for fashion work, props, or stylized assets. If you want to try it for yourself, it's available on Gumroad as well. And that's it for today. If you want to dive deeper into Geometry Nodes yourself, you can check out my Master Geometry Nodes course, which takes you from the basics all the way into advanced setups used in real projects. I've also released a few tools recently, like the True Image Editor, a layer-based image editing system inside Blender with a much cleaner UI, and the Cloth Library, which comes with looped animated clothing, textured garments, and more updates planned. And as always, if you want to follow any of the artists featured in today's roundup, all the links will be in the description so you can explore their work in detail.